Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here, M0A.com, answering your questions again this week. These questions, both of them came in from good friends of mine. This first one came in via Snapchat, and you might happen to recognize her. Hi Jason. So I want to start my instrument training, but don't quite know where to start. So can you help a sister out? Thank you. So of course, Ariel is a good friend of mine. Those of you who've seen the movie Flying Again, you saw Ariel getting back into the cockpit and back flying again. If you haven't, flyingagainmovie.com. Shameless plug. Now, Ariel, I congratulate you on wanting to go out and knock out the instrument rating. That is huge. Uh, I mean, truth be told, you know this as well as the other Missouri.com fans out there know that I am such a fan of getting that instrument rating done. Enjoy being a private pilot by all means, but please go become or at least start your instrument training. And Ariel, this advice is not only specifically to you, but there's probably a lot of other people out there in your shoes. Instrument flying is really all about two things. It's all about the knowledge you have up here. You already know how to fly an airplane, but now I need to learn a different skill. I need to learn how to fly in instrument conditions. There is so much to learn, loss comm procedures, approaches, and the big one, radio communications, which Ariel, and you guys have all seen the video too, Ariel needed a little brushing up in the radio communications department, like a lot of us though, I'm not picking on just Ariel. So we need to brush up on the knowledge up here. Let's get an instrument pilot ground school done. Let's work through it to get the knowledge necessary to do that. You already know how to fly. We need to learn a new skill set now and it all starts on the ground with the ground school and going through it that way. The next step is brush up on those radio communications. Instrument flying is also all about how well you talk on the radios because it's constant chatter. It's like VFR flight following but kind of stepped up a notch. There's some very lengthy radio calls such as getting your clearance or when you're cleared for the ILS 36 and 2 Ocala and you get these long radio calls that you need to know what to read back and understand the format they come in. So, instrument flying, get a ground school done, brush up on radio communications. You start with those two things before you even step into the flight school, you will be just heads above uh, the other instrument students in there, no doubt. Let's take a look. This also comes from another friend via Snapchat. Let's see what Rachel has to say. Hey Jason, this is Rachel with Fast Deviation and HangarSwap.com. I have a cross country planned, 200 nautical miles over water. I have a waypoint that I've picked out so I can skirt along the coast. Do I need to tell flight following my waypoint? So Rachel, I applaud you for following the coast. I know so many people on that long of a cross country with a large body of water, whether it be a lake or in our case here in Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, maybe you're heading up towards Louisiana or something. It's very easy to go, man, I'll just cut the corner, don't worry about it but there's still a lot of ocean out there. And I know the airplane doesn't know it's over water, but you certainly know it's over water. And the smart thing is always to follow the coast. So if you're gonna do it on VFR flight falling, absolutely, you could mention to them your fix, assuming it's, a, it's an IFR fix or a, a VFR waypoint, that they're gonna know and explain that to them. But you're also assuming that they're gonna pass that information along to each and every controller. I would find it much easier to just tell them I'm gonna follow the coast on up. Because here in Florida, that's a very common request to do. I'm gonna fly the coast to where I'm going. If you wanna give them a waypoint by all means, but are they gonna pass that from Tampa to Orlando, to your Jacksonville controller, to your Tallahassee controller as you go all the way around the coast? I don't know, it'd be much easier to just say, hey, I'm flying the coast, so they know that information as well. Guys, gals, we are here for you. Ask us your questions via Snapchat like these questions came in, via Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can find us on all the major social media sites. Be sure to follow us for great behind the scenes stuff. We do a lot of awesome contests on Snapchat as well, giving away shirts, movies, books, all sorts of great stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look forward to reading your questions. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Add us on Snapchat, username Jason Shepard, just like you see on your screen there, for great contests, giveaways, behind the scenes tours of the M0A.com studio, and to ask me your flight training questions.